Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for April 11th, 2022. Well, we had kind of an interesting Friday where we did get that relief rally that I was kind of su suspecting, but it really didn't come across the board. We had um, some nice relief, some good bullish action, and the diamonds holding that 50-day moving average, but unfortunately, the SPY, the QQQ, and IWM um, remain just slightly under pressure. Um, actually, the QQQ re remained under considerable pressure with the rising uh, bonds as they continue to rise inverted, um, adding some pressure to that big tech sector. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in? Let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the Monday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone. Thanks for being here. I do really, really uh, appreciate it. I um, hope everyone had a chance to um, 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 watch that video. We, we did a live event on Friday. We did some price action work, those kind of things. And um, I just want to say thank you so much to everyone who did come to the light of event and the kind comments. You guys are awesome. I, I do truly appreciate it. Let's take a look at these charts and see if we can gain some information how we might want to approach the market for today. Um, looking at um, the market itself, we have just a little bit of uncertainty in here. Notice that the diamonds still kind of dealing with this price resistance. We rallied into that area but just couldn't quite um, make that move to pop through that um, resistance and that little bit of a downtrend. But the good news is we continue to hold on to this price support in the chart. We'll have to watch that because this week we have some challenging data coming our way. Um, and so far, like I say, we've held that 50 day moving average. So if those bulls can get inspired here, we're gonna be one of watching this level right in here. If we can push on through there, that would be good for that. Uh, the bullish uh, side of the market, those folks that are wanting to see the market rally. Um, but remember, we need to push through and prove to hold that before we actually get that resumption to the upside trend. Now, if those bears find some, um, some reason to push today, you can see this would be exactly the place where they should, um, where we would expect them to find that kind of uh, bearish pressure. Um, and if we were to make a lower low here, that would be critical. Um, could be a major psychological break here in the market, so watch that closely. Let's take a look at our um, in, um, indicators here. Notice that we're still holding um, above that 50-day moving average. We broke it a couple of times, but we have successfully defended that area so far. The question will be, can we push back up through that 200-day moving average? Because if we fail here, that would be a failure there at that 50-day moving average, and that could be a pretty substantial issue for the market. Then let's take a look at our SPY, SPY. SPY has been uh, kind of struggling in here, but holding up um, all the same. Notice we pushed right up into that price resistance that I mentioned on Friday. Just backed away from it. We just weren't quite ready to push on through. Now we do have some price support right here in the chart, but I will tell you that I think it is a very modest price support. Um, we'll have to watch that pretty closely because if we were to break down through there once again, that could re you know, set up some problems here, psychological problems for the market. Um, keep in mind, if we push up, we need to pop through that area right there, proof to hold, and then we can move on through. A failure here would be a bit of a problem. Now let's take a look. Um, what we have here in our favor is we have a 50-day moving average that's just, we're hovering above that level in there. We haven't quite made it down there for a test. I do suspect there is that possibility that we could push down and test that 50-day moving average here over the next couple of days. So watch that carefully. And if that were to fail, that's where the real problem will come in the market. So keep a close eye on that. If those bears find that inspiration, that could be that could be trouble um, for us. And then let's take a look at the QQQ. Now the QQQ remained under pressure on Friday. Those rising bonds 
um, have a major impact on tech. And unfortunately, um, those rising bonds, they're rising inverted on some of those, which is not a good sign for the market overall. But if you take a look um, right in here, we continue to move on down and depends on where you want to draw that downtrend. Um, not a good situation here for us in the market and notice that we have failed this little support level. So we have technically created a lower high and a lower low here in um, the QQQ and we're pushing back down maybe into this area this morning and as you can see we may have that push through that little bit of failure here this morning on that and the reason that's critical here this morning is if we take a look at our moving averages um, this morning's open we will open below that 50-day moving average so if the bulls can come right back in and defend that really quickly and push us back up there may not be any problem but if those bears stay on the case here we might want to start looking for some price support right in this area and if that fails well, we may be looking for a another retest of lows, so watch that closely. Um, let's take a look at our Russell. Now, the IWM has remained under pressure, and of course, we have that lower high that was created here. We're struggling with this big re resistance area. We did fall through support and we continue to fall. Um, it looks to me like IWM is heading for a retest of these lows. So keep a close eye on that. But if they can rally, if we can push back up, we'll wanna watch for that price resistance up in here. Um, that would be a potential place to maybe short. If we can break through that area and hold, then we can start to resume maybe some uptrend uh, there in the chart. So watch those areas closely. A lot of um, uncertainty here and notice that we have failed that 50 day moving average here and we're coming into a 500 day moving average that has served as support here before. So if that can continue to hold, we might be in pretty good shape. But if we continue to slide on down, that's where there could be some issues um, if those bears find some inspiration. Let's take a look at our VIX. Oops. Well, one of these days I'm gonna learn how to type, guys. If you ever wondered if this was um, an edited video or if I record it live, now you know it's it's recorded live. I don't edit this video. If you take a look at the VIX, as you can see, we have, um, this downtrend here in play and we've rallied up into some resistance in the chart but the good news is that we haven't really spiked up here at all we've held those resistance levels here in the chart we have some support down in here and honestly that 20 handle area is kind of an interesting area because it has it serves as a big level of price support or resistance in the chart question is will we continue to fade this um, back on down or if we were to spike back up here creating a higher low so we'll want to keep a close eye on that if that starts to push up if that fear starts to come in and there may be reason where we might have a little bit of fear um, this week and I'll show you that here in just a little bit let's take a look at our t2122 our T2122 indicator, we had that nice little relief rally on Friday as I, as I suggested that might come along here um, into the close of the week. But notice that it wasn't, it finished the day not all that confident. What we ended up doing is coming right back up here into the mid range of that T2122. So if those bulls can find reason for inspiration, we just want to keep an eye on that because we know we have plenty of upside if they can um, get going in there and show uh, that tenacity to fight. If those bears uh, continue to show their teeth and growl pretty hard, we we have opened a pretty good size, about an equal size opportunity before we reach that uh, bullish reversal zone here in the market. So kind of a toss up here um, this week. Remember, T2122 doesn't tell us direction. It just tell us, it tells us those pressure points here in the chart. And we're just kind of straddling the fence here at the moment, trying to make a decision. If we take a look, however, with our um, T2108, T2108, 
not real happy, but we have to kind of keep our fingers crossed that those bulls are defending. See, if we look at this downtrend here, we certainly did reject that downtrend, made the lower high, followed by a lower low. But the good news is, is we didn't really collapse here at all. As a matter of fact, we're holding some price support levels in the chart. So I got to still give that to the bulls and still have that little bit of hope that those bulls will defend and continue to try and push this higher. We'll want to watch that pretty close. And our T2107, well, um, not as happy um, a, a, of a chart, but there is still that good news that we're trying to hold. Failing at that downtrend, notice that we weren't we pretty flat on the day here. Not a lot of inspiration in there, but with that Russell continuing to push down, I think that's adding some pressure here to, to the stocks holding above their 200 day. And we've got that little bit of support right there. If we were to drop down through there, then uh, we might expect some retests of lows here in T2107. Um, T2101, again, um, not really giving us the best of data in here. We're just kind of wandering around here in T2101. And I think that's just because we've had a real lack of momentum um, here in the market. If we take a look at our uh, volume, um, our volumes continue to remain quite light and we just can't seem to find that inspiration to really show some momentum. Now, speaking of inspiration, we may find some inspiration this week, unfortunately, in the economic calendar. If you take a look right in here, we've got Ooh, um, one of those weeks that it could be a little bit rough. Uh, first off, th starting today, we've got just a parade of Fed speakers. We've got a three-year note auction. Um, we might be able to get through um, get through today without a whole lot of hoopla, unless there is some geopolitical events that fire off. But I got to tell you, heading into Tuesday and Wednesday, we're going to have to, um, well, it's going to be a little bit of a gut check here for the market because we're going to have a CPI number and we're going to have a PPI number. And I think everyone, including the Fed, is expecting these numbers to come in hot. So watch those two closely. Um, I would expect some volatility this week as a result. Keep in mind, we've got um, other Fed speakers. We've got a Treasury statement here on Tuesday, petroleum status on Wednesday. Um, on Thursday, we're also going to have that little gut check here in the market with retail sales and several other data points, as you can see, that could move us around. Now, we have, if you remember, we have a holiday shortened week with Good Friday. And what's interesting is they're continuing to leave, at least at this point, the calendar's saying that they haven't uh, moved these. We're going to get um, data on Friday, and that industrial production number could also be relatively critical number with the rising inflation and issues that we have here in the market. So watch that closely. We've got a busy week, and we can probably expect um, some interesting volatility. Um, watch for those whipsaws. Watch for overnight reversals. Um, those could be rather extreme as these numbers come out. Let's take a look at our earnings calendar. Now, our earnings calendar today is pretty dead. We've got about 20, a little over 20 companies on the earnings calendar, but we only have one earnings report that is even confirmed, and that earnings report is PCYO and not exactly a major notable here in the market but of course if you're own if you own this or if you've been tracking this stock that um, is important so you'll want to keep an eye on that this is the only confirmed report that we have so far today so watch that closely certainly been in a downtrend certainly being challenged by price resistance so this could be a critical report in deciding whether we're going to break this consolidation right in here to the upside or the downside watch that one close so with that let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up for today but before we do that guys if you could do me that quick 
public favor. If this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And if you find these videos to be useful, if you could do me that favor as well, click that thumbs up button, leave a brief comment that helps the channel to continue to grow. And I just want to say thank you so much. I try to answer as many of the comments as I can during the week. Um, sometimes it just gets too busy and I can't can't get her done but most of the time I do um, because I truly truly appreciate it. and I want everyone to know that I do read all of those comments um, you guys are awesome and thank you so much and also please feel free to share these videos out on your social media feed that also helps the channel continue to grow and if you find the video helpful maybe your friends family and folks like that might find it helpful as well and once again big shout out to everyone who continues to support the channel through buy me a coffee you guys are awesome thank you so very much now let's take a look at some of these stocks that are setting up and remember guys these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security as a matter of fact you need to do your own due diligence making sure you understand very very carefully or and closely that these um, the volatility of the market makes every trade right now rel relatively challenging and uncertain. So make sure you understand the risks of these trades. Make sure they uh, fit your risk profile and your trading plan. Never ever follow someone else's trade ideas uh, blindly. Make sure they fit your trading style. First off, let's take a look at a couple. You guys know I've been kind of keeping an eye on this tractor supply. I've mentioned it a few times and we challenged this resistance area up here and just wasn't able to get through. But notice we're taking another crack at it here right now. Thursday and Friday saw a good rise in tractor supply. So I'm still watching this level up here. At this point, however, um, things have changed. If we get a nice tight consolidation against a resistance and then pop right on through, I might take that trade. But when a stock does this and breaks support and then pushes back up, mm, got a little question on it now. Um, so what I need to see is I need to see that breakthrough and proof to hold. And then I think I would be interested in tractor supply. So you might want to keep that one on your list. You know, guys, I'm going to have to bring this up. Um, I think we really need to be keeping a close eye here on gold and silver. The metals have been... Um, very volatile, in fact, very challenging, and I would even say extremely frustrated, afraid, extremely frustrated. There has been notable manipulation um, in these markets for some time now, but it looks like the bulls are kind of picking things up. The, you know, the news that Russia is maybe moving toward a gold standard, the news that China may also be moving towards um, that little bit of a gold standard to try and de destabilize the US dollar and remove us as the reserve currency. Well, that's putting some pressure here on gold. So keep an eye on GLD. It looks like we're perking up here today, looking pretty strong. Um, I would watch that closely. You might also wanna keep an eye on um, silver. Um, typically, silver also rallies um, when gold is really strong. Now, silver's not in nearly as good a pattern. Notice we still have that downtrend here, and we broke some of that support. So again, for me, this is going to have to break through that resistance proof to hold, and then I've got a silver trade here. Probably not until then, but keep a close eye on that. Now, you also want to keep an eye on these um, miners. Oh my goodness, miners have been really strong. Take a look at Newmont running in this upside trend, looking very good. Um, you've got stocks like uh, Barrick Gold looking very, very strong, continuing to move up. Um, AUY moving up. AU on the um, gold side here looking very, very good. Um, lots of these miners um, and mining ETFs looking very, very strong. So keep an eye on those sectors. You might also want to keep an eye on um, the utility sector. Utilities have been really, really strong here recently, pushing um, hard here, as you can see, 
to the upside. So you might want to keep an eye on some of those stocks here in the utilities sector. Look at like um, Dominion here, very, very strong. Um, LNT looking good. Um, Consolidated Edison, very, very strong. Lots of stocks in that um, sector looking very good. Now on the weak side, if you're looking for some short trades, you might want to take a look at the financials. Financials have recently rallied just back up Thursday Thursday and Friday bouncing back up. But notice up here, we've got a 50 and 200 day moving average resistance right here in the area. As a matter of fact, we have the potential for a big moving average squeeze right in this area. So if financials can continue to rally, and I'm not sure that they're going to be able to with the bond, um, whoops, that's a two day, with the bond situation that we have here in, um, in, the, in the market. So watch that closely. There is that possibility. We could see some failures here in these charts. And boy, I gotta tell you, um, Citibank, that's a that's a pretty bad looking chart and any rally back to some price resistance in this chart, maybe right in here, right up in here, continuing that downtrend would not be um, a bad looking short um, overall. And there's quite a few of those in that sector if you're looking for those. Um, I think guys, we're also going to have to keep a pretty close eye on um, like um, FCX copper. Now copper was trying to get going here, had a little bit of a double topping pattern, failed some support, but this overall trend continues to hold. So uh, this could go either direction. We might be able to push back through here again and hold and then move higher, but we could also see that failure here. So watch that pretty closely on FCX. Um, I think we also have to just keep an eye on that energy um, sector, guys. Energy continues to look good, continues to surge. And as these this conflict in um, Ukraine continues to add more and more san sanctions, more and more pressure to um, these commodities and grains and things along those lines, um, uh, we're gonna see some issues here, I think, as a result. So keeping an eye on those, there's a lot of stocks in that XLE sector looking very strong and very good. So watch those closely. So with that, guys, I'm going to call this an end to the day. I'm running out of time. I want to wish you all a fantastic day. Hopefully you had a real restful weekend because I think we could have a challenging four day week here to uh, ahead. So be prepared. Uh, make sure you're focused carefully on that price action. Try not to over trade. And with that, everyone, I'll wish you all the best and see you right back here bright and early Tuesday morning.